Hey guys, Jonathan was out here for Jam Sports and Harder than the Jam Sports Show. How is it going? I'm here to make college football picks for Saturday, September 2nd, 2017. Okay, so where were the picks for Friday? Well, they were recorded. And then as I was at an event last night, uh, they had to come over the PA system what the uh, how the Wisconsin Badgers were were doing in their game against Utah State, and that's when I realized as I heard that I'm sitting there and I'm like, well, I picked Wisconsin, so that's good. And then I'm like, but wait a minute, I didn't upload the video, so uh, I apologize for that. Hopefully, you guys will trust me with my honesty. There, we had a perfect day on Friday. We will over that here real quick so went eight no uh first of all uh eighth rank washington and rutgers uh we had washington winning 30 to 14 utah state number nine wisconsin uh 59 to 10 wisconsin winning that game army beats forum 64 six eastern michigan beats charlotte 24 to 7 syracuse gets a 50 to 7 win over Central Connecticut, Navy and Florida Atlantic. Uh, Navy wins 42 to 19. Colorado and Colorado State 17 to 3. Colorado wins that game. And Boston College, Northern Illinois, Boston College escaping with a 23-20 victory. So with all of that on the year, we are off to a spectacular start as we have a record of 26 and 2. We are 4,089 and 1,354 is the lifetime record so here we go for those of you who don't know how we do this I run through these pretty quick if I have I'm not you know I don't have comments on a lot of them but if I do have a comment on a game I do make it but especially for week one for as many games as there are just want to get through this as quickly as we can to avoid making the video too long uh, and I also don't do uh, channels. Kent State and th number five Clemson. I am going to go with Clemson in that game. Akron takes on number six Penn State. Give me Penn State. Maryland in 23rd rank Texas. Give me Texas. Ball State takes on Illinois. I'm going to go with Illinois. Wyoming and Iowa. Give me Iowa. Uh, Bowling Green, Michigan State. I'm going to go with Michigan State. Missouri State and Missouri, give me Missouri. Cal and North Carolina, I'm going to go with North Carolina. Bethune-Cookman takes on Miami, and I'm going to go with AT the 18th Act Hurricanes. Youngstown State takes on Pittsburgh, I'm going to go with Pittsburgh. Portland State and Oregon State, give me uh, Oregon State. VMI and Air Force, I'm going to go with Air Force. NC State and South Carolina, I'm going to go with NC State here. I do think that this is going to be a pretty competitive matchup. But I'm going to give the edge to the Wolfpack. UTEP uh, takes on Oklahoma, and I'm going to go with the Sooners. 11th ranked Michigan and 17th ranked Florida. Now, I do think that this game is going to be competitive. Uh, I have seen a couple people that actually think that Florida State, or that Florida rather, is going to win this game. I do not agree with that, but I, I do think it will be extremely close. Uh, the big thing for Florida, obviously, is the eight suspended players, including, I believe, it's two starters for them. However, uh, Michigan is a very, very young team. I think they have something like five um, starters or five players in general from uh, last season's Wolverine team returning this year. So they're a very young team. Obviously, they will uh, be better as, as the season goes on, which, you know, if they can... If they can uh, tread what might be some rough waters in the beginning they'll probably play the best football later on down the line this season so that could be dangerous for everybody else I do think Michigan wins this game though but I think it's extremely close and I had said in the video that I was going to start doing locks of the week and I decided that I'm going to make Michigan my lock of the week so we will see how that pans out for me there Temple thinking on Notre Dame. I am going to go with Notre Dame. I do think that the uh, clock is ticking for Brian Kelly, um, and I do think that this will be his final year in South Bend. Could be wrong on that, but gut feeling is 
that it is and that he will uh, go elsewhere. Nevada and Northwestern, I am going to go with Northwestern. William & Mary takes on Virginia, I'm going to go with Virginia. Alabama A&M takes on UA, UAB, University of Alabama, Birmingham, who is playing their first game in FBS uh, Division One college football since 2014. I do have them getting a victory in their return. Troy in Boise State, I am going to go with Boise State. Stony Brook takes on 19th in South Florida, give me South Florida. Uh, Eastern Washington and Texas Tech can be Texas Tech. Kentucky takes on Southern Miss. I'm going to go with Kentucky. Charleston Southern and Mississippi State give me Mississippi State. Western Michigan takes on number four, USC. I'm going to go with the Trojans, USC, a, another very, very uh, talented team. Looking forward to seeing how they do this year. A lot like I said going into Friday, which actually nobody saw, so I guess it doesn't matter. But I said the same thing about Washington in the video for Friday that never got uploaded. North Carolina Central takes on Duke, and I'm going to go with Duke. James Madison takes on East Carolina. I am going to go with East Carolina. And next up, we uh, have Albany and Old Dominion. I'm going to go with Old Dominion. Appalachian State takes on 15th Bank Georgia. I am going to go with Georgia here. But uh, watch out. I don't think there's going to be an upset. But Appalachian State plays really, really well in these big-time games. Just ask Michigan from about 10 years ago. Next up, Miami of Ohio takes on Marshall. I am going to go with Marshall. Lamar takes on North Texas. Can be North Texas. Eastern Kentucky, Western Kentucky. I'm going to go with Western Kentucky. Northwestern State takes on Louisiana Tech. Can be Louisiana Tech. Stephen F. Austin takes on SMU. I'm going to go with SMU. UMass in Coastal Carolina. Give me UMass. Give me Baylor over Liberty. Uh, Southeast Missouri State in Kansas. Give me Kansas. Hampton in Ohio. Give me Ohio. Southeastern Louisiana meeting uh, the Louisiana Raging Cajuns. And I'm gonna go, going to go with the Raging Cajuns in uh, that game there. And Louisiana dropping the Lafayette from their name and now just being called Louisiana. Houston Baptist takes on Texas State. I'm going to go with Texas State. Central Arkansas and 20th rank Kansas State. Give me Kansas State. Georgia Southern, 12th rank Auburn. Give me the Tigers. 16th rank Louisville takes on Purdue. I am going to go with the Cardinals. South Alabama and Ole Miss. Give me Ole Miss. Cal Poly takes on San Jose State. Give me San Jose State. The most intriguing game of the weekend, I believe, is, as usually the case, takes place on ABC tonight, so that's the only channel plug I will give it 8 Eastern time. And it's number 3, Florida State, and number 1, Alabama. I expect this game to be extremely competitive. Uh, I think Florida State is very, very talented. I think Alabama is very talented. Uh, here's an interesting little tidbit that uh, uh, Nick Saban, Alabama head coach Nick Saban, is 9-0 and against his former assistants. Like I said, I think this is a very even matchup here. I think coaching has is going to have a lot to do with it. Uh, there are some people that are surprised that uh, that Saban took a big chance and, ske and scheduled such a big game to kick off the year. However, uh, I do think that Alabama is going to get the win in this game as I would take the Nick Saban edge over the Jimbo Fisher uh, edge. That game, by the way, will be will take place down in Atlanta at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Uh, Abilene Christian takes on New Mexico. I'm going to go with New Mexico. Arkansas State takes on Nebraska. I'm going to go with Nebraska. Jackson State and TCU give me TCU. Northern Iowa takes on Iowa State. Give me Iowa State. Vanderbilt and Middle Tennessee give me Vandy. Grambling. And Tulane, I'm going to go with Tulane. So, uh, Southern Utah and Oregon, give me Oregon. UC Davis and San Diego State, give me San Diego State. Howard takes on UNLV, I'm going to go with UNLV. BYU and 13th ranked LSU, give me LSU. Incarnate Word takes on Fresno State, I'm going to go with Fresno State. Montana State and 24th ranked Washington State, give me Washington State. Uh, next up, we have Northern Arizona taking on Arizona. I'm going to go with Arizona. 
And Western Carolina takes on Hawaii to round out the slate of games for Saturday. I'm going to go with Hawaii in that game there. Uh, one postponement as well. Houston and uh, University of Texas San Antonio. Uh, uh, thoughts and prayers go out to the people of Houston and the trouble that they are going through right now due to uh, Hurricane Harvey. And uh, it's not a pretty sight down there, but hopefully with plenty of time and with plenty of donations, we can get that cleaned up and taken care of. All right, I sat there and debated whether or not I was going to just put the uh, final three games for the weekend in this video. There's two on Sunday. There's one on Monday. Don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm either going to put all three of them in a video uh, after the games today and tonight, or I'll just do one on, one video on Sunday, one video on Monday. Once again, I really do apologize for not having a video up for Friday. Really hope that you guys uh, are okay with that. And here we go. It's time for college football to begin. Fresh slate for everybody, and it's football season, so who isn't happy about that? Don't forget to like the James Social page on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Links as always are down in the description. That is going to do it for me. I am Jonathan Mozart for James Sports, the heart of the James Sports Show. And I will see you guys later. <laughs>